and say it and they mean it. So, let me know when you're ready. All right, let's go. All right, so yeah, and basically when Columbus came back, he found 30 bones out there, and he was like, yo, what happened? Dude was like, hey, dude, them dudes, let's go get them. Right. And they went and got them. And that began slavery, because that gave them the foot in the door where they can start justifying taking Tainos for slaves. Right. The Tainos didn't necessarily make good slaves, because the Europeans brought the seeds. Right. Tainos knew the land, so they just run off. Like I said, as long as you got across this wall, yeah, you they free. And yeah. especially the Tainos. Right. Wait, wait, wait here for a second. So, if came obvious at one point that they needed something else to do. So that was when um, they basically came up with the idea of let's start importing Africans from Africa, right? Because with a little bit, they had a little bit more history with Africans. Um, and there were already African slaves in Spain and Portugal at that time. Right. They were called um, Ladurinos. 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 Yeah, those were slaves that were from either uh, Spain or Portugal that grew up in slavery. So they knew Spanish or Portuguese. Right. They were basically house slaves. They knew the system of slavery. They grew up in it. They brought them over first. And they started bringing them because, right, this is a city. Um, you know, there's it, no farms What's or nothing it? here. So most people needed attendance. Right. Right? People do, you know, you know, this is a night area and right. stuff. So they, they have people attend, they uh, put their clothes on for them, cooks, washers, right. cleaners, that kind of thing. Those domesticated. So they brought them first. Um, they started bringing them on the year eight, uh, 1502. 1502. 1502. By 1506, they then started realizing that a lot of the Indians were dying off quick. They needed to do something else. So then they petitioned to bring Africans directly from Africa. It took a few years, but by the year 1509, they started bringing the first shipments of Africans directly from Africa. Africa. These were the wild, you know what I mean? One thing, they didn't grow up. These people had lived free at some point in their time. They knew what freedom was. Right. As opposed to the ladrinos that were here, and they grew up house slaves, basically. Right, you know? they were domesticated. So they were domesticated, they knew, they knew slavery. And what, as literally, as soon as they brought the Africans from Africa, the, um, the uh, uh, Cimarrones, wild, uh -huh. that word means, where the word Cimarron came from, right. which later on in English became Seminole, really? Yeah, the word, yes. Oh, Seminole, Seminole means wild? Yeah, it means wild. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Untamed. That's what they ended up calling the ones coming from Africa, and especially after they escaped. They then started using that word for once they escaped. And um, so, if you think about it, that year 1509, when they started bringing the slaves, they had Indians already locked up in this little corral here. Then they started bringing these Africans over. The Africans and the Indians had an immediate connection with each other because they saw benefit in each other. The Indians knew that they were dying off at this point. They were getting weaker in right. numbers. Right. They couldn't fight off. They're bringing in these Africans in large numbers and they're healthy, they're strong, you know. And, and they had a similar culture. And they had a very similar culture already because living off nature, living off in the woods, knowing all, you know, the spirits, the drums, and all of that kind of thing, right? So they immediately hit it off. The Africans saw offhand, like, hey, you know this area. You know, y'all can tell us when we pop this fence, you know, where we gonna go. So literally, immediately, they came. So, like, literally, as 
as soon as the Africans started coming, they started hopping the fence. Right. With the Indians, right? And they would go together and they literally started becoming one. So in the Dominican ideology, how they think about themselves, their identity, 